Hi there, singers and non-singers. Welcome to another episode of Ask VSA, where we answer all of your questions regarding singing. My name is Peter Vox, and I have been the director and principal teacher of Vox Singing Academy here in beautiful Melbourne, Australia since 1993. If we could help you or someone that you know with their singing, we'd be absolutely honored. We have the links in the description below, so check those out if you want uh, help with your singing, whether that be in studio in Melbourne or online singing lessons worldwide, seven days a week. We also do offer the ultimate online singing course as well too, so check those out if you want to. If you like this channel, please give it a like, thumbs up, click like and subscribe to keep up with all the other great content that we release on this channel. Without any further ado, let's get stuck into the next question. I get asked this all the time, how do I warm up my voice? So I am going to explain and show you some exercises as simplistically as I possibly can. So you're not gonna need a keyboard, even though I have a keyboard here. Um, you're not gonna need a keyboard to do any of these warm up exercises. So you can do these um, off your own back and you can do them anywhere. And these are gonna be great for you to do before you go and sing in any situation. It's gonna really help your voice out. Now, it is imperative that you always warm your voice up before you sing so you don't cause any vocal damage. Uh, remember that your voice is a muscle. So the first exercise that I like to start with is a baby buzz or a burble. And how you do this is very simple, is just simply run some air through the lips like this. Let's do it without any sound now. So it's gonna go so it's going to do that, just any key, any sound, try to be a horse. If you can't get it like that, push your two fingers in, get more of a, a baby burble. I like to do it like this, it lets out less air. And we want to do that basically starting down as low as you can in your range and circulating up as high as you possibly can in your range. Now, if you're a beginner and you're not, not an experienced vocalist, just start with little small circles. So start doing it like this. Start down low. So just go up, gently come up, and do, do these round circular formations with the voice. And then as you're getting better, you can extend that. Pardon me. Now, as you could hear, my voice crossed over to falsetto. Try to make that crossover um, without a clunk or a break. So just keep on moving through the range. But you again, you just want to start as low as you can and go as high as you can and just do big circular motions or sirens. <laughs> Looks easy, doesn't it? It's not as easy as what it looks, so you're gonna to have to practice maybe with so small circular motions that are only gonna go for a second or two because you do have to get the airflow even all the way through the vocal cords and the pitch even all the way through to get this scale and to get the maximum benefit out of this particular scale. But it is an absolutely fantastic scale and the best way to wake up your voice and to warm your voice up. Now I recommend, and I personally do this scale before I do scales and lessons. I would do that depending on how I'm feeling. I would generally do that between two to four minutes. Okay, so I'd be going up and down, doing that to two, for two to four minutes. Now, there are numerous other exercises that you can do if you're not getting the baby buzz or the burble. Okay, now that is a great and the best exercise to warm up with. There are lots of other ones. You can do tongue rolls. So it's nearly the same thing where we'll just roll the tongue like that, but then we're just gonna go up and down. So small little circles. Again, start as low as you can, and then as you get better, go as high as you can all the way through in a falsetto back down to true voice. So it's Don't push yourself too hard, just go up as high as you comfortably can and as low as you comfortably can. And as you're feeling you're getting more warmed up and you're getting better at the scale, try to extend it higher 
and lower. So they're great exercises to also expand your higher and lower range. Now, I have about 10 different variances of that that you can do. So, you know, there are there are lots of them you can do. So, again, it's a so the lips are just lightly together. So I have lots of different variances. If my students can't get a particular um, scale or a technique, I have a lots of other ones that we can do. Once I've done that, so, 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 as I said, for about four to five minutes, then I go to a slightly more intense um, technique, and it's basically an, an ooh or a we that I do this on. So again, I would start down low, and I'll, I'll do it on a we here for now, and I start down low and I go, we. So just do that for me, as low as you can. So this is girls and guys, so you, everyone start wherever you feel comfortable as well too. So the girls, you might be starting we, but start wherever you feel comfortable in your low range. But I'll start with a we, and I just start down low. We. Now as you can see, I circulated from my true voice up to my falsetto and back down again. Don't worry about the clunk or the crack or the break if you're doing these, if you're inexperienced, that is very natural. I'm connecting my two registers up, which takes um, effort and skill to do that. But if you've got a crack and a break, like we, don't stress about that. Who cares? We're warming up your voice. And you'll get better at the transitions between true voice and false sort of if you keep on practicing. Keep it gentle, keep it light. None of these scales are done loud. They're done lightly, okay? So don't do them loud. Just go up and down. And again, start as low as you can and finish up as high as you can and come back down again. It's also great for breath control because you have to make it through the extent of the scale, which is gonna take you seven, eight, nine seconds, okay? So it's great for breath control as well too. Again, I'll do a couple more on the Wii. I start down low. Wee. As you can see, I'm smiling as I'm getting towards the top. So I do those for, again, three or four minutes. Sometimes do the, an ooh, which is So I sometimes do it on the ooh as well. So you can change any of those vowels. R, E, E, same as we. Ah. Up and down through the scale. The R sounding scale is harder to do the falsetto on. That's why I generally stick with uh, an ooh or a we. So they are my main scales that I generally do to warm up my voice. Again, if I'm feeling more tired and or um, I'm, I'm in a cold environment, I sometimes take longer to warm up. So I would generally do some, <clears throat> some baby buzzes or some burbles for, as I said, three to five minutes. And I'll do some ooze for again, three to five minutes. And then after that, I start with some true voice um, scales. So that's just my warm up. But if you do those for long enough, you'll, you'll be good to go and start to sing if your voice is feeling warmed up and doing these warm ups are better than not doing anything at all. But as a general rule after this, I generally start with some light arts like this. Arts. Again, you can just make these up. You don't have to have a keyboard. You can just go arts, 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 arts. Through your range if you want to go to falsetto. Wee. So same thing, so that's how I warm my voice up. Then I have some other crying scales that I normally do after that. These are the best exercises and you practice these, your, your voice will be warmed up and you'll take care of your voice. Please do these before you do your scales, before you sing, rehearsals, performances, you're gonna find that you're gonna have a lot better vocal performance. Hope you like this video. If you do, give it a like, thumbs up, click like and subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Uh, and if it's a great question, I will shoot a video for you and I will maybe even name you in the video. Uh, again, if we could help you or someone that you know with their singing, please check out the links below. We offer 
singing lessons here in beautiful Melbourne, Australia at our numerous studios with male and female teachers. We also have online singing lessons worldwide seven days a week. And if if face-to-face classes aren't your thing, please check out the Ultimate Online Singing Course. Until the next video, be good to each other, live each day as if if it's your last, and enjoy your singing. Peace and much love. Bye-bye. No editing.